Hi, I'm Matt and this is Who Knew at the Buffalo Zoo. This is my introduction. <laughs> For the first time, the Buffalo Zoo has baby otters, or more specifically, North American river otter pups, or kits, or whelps, whelps, whatever you want to call them. Cute. Call them cute. These are the first babies born at the Buffalo Zoo's Otter Creek since it opened in 2004. Like, ever. So it's kind of a big deal. Otter Creek was designed to resemble Letchworth State Park, one of the nearby otter habitats where small populations have been reintroduced over the years. When the babies are out on exhibit, one thing that you will not see is an otter pup holding hands with its mother in the water. That's a sea otter thing, not a river otter thing. What? River otters, like the ones at the Buffalo Zoo, swim like this while sea otters swim on their backs like this. Another difference is that river otters sleep on land, in dens, while sea otters sleep out in the water floating on their backs. Sea otters do everything in the water, even give birth. And now it's time for What's in Your Bucket? Hey, what's in your bucket? I have fish in my bucket. <gasps> fish, yeah! The only confusing thing about the name river otter is that sometimes they're found in coastal areas, so they're not always found in rivers. Because North American river otters are pretty awesome, we have even more info on the way. Stay tuned for part two, where we will take a closer look at the interactions between mother and baby otters. In otter words, more babies. See you later. More babies. More babies.